All right, guys, so a couple things I want to address before we move forward. In the last couple of videos, I completely forgot to change the register music events function. Right over here, if stat is directory, I had register events. I want to fix that to register music events. Completely overlooked that, and I apologize for that. However, this still should have worked just fine because in the bot.js file, we were calling music register music events and we we're passing in music events directly. And when you go inside this code, when you read this dirt, when you read all the files inside this music events directory, this if condition is never going to be hit because every single file inside this file over here is not a directory and since it's not a directory it's going to ignore this line and go straight here so it would have still registered the events just fine because i tested this out before and the connect.js the uh, node connect event was still being emitted so if you're getting an issue with uh like the Corella client or something it's most likely not the register music events but i still need to address this because this part is wrong and a couple of things that i want to fix right before we go to the point of this video is we're going to go inside bot.js we're going to get rid of client.musicplayers because we don't need that anymore because the client.q or the uh, client.players for from the relic client is actually a collection so we can just get the player itself from that collection so we're getting rid of this map that we created because originally i did not know that client.players was a collection and we had this client.musicplayers to map every single id or map every uh guild id to its player so we can just safely get rid of this and we can go inside play.js and we can change this to client.players.get and we can change this to client.players.get because remember client.players or client.music.players sorry so client.music that corresponds to music client and then dot players dot get that's going to get us the actual player and likewise if we go inside join we don't need to set the player anymore because that is going to happen uh whenever we spawn the player all right guys so we're going to go and implement the leave channel command so make sure you create a new file and name it whatever you want leave.js name in my file we're going to import the base command class and we're also just creating our own class now make sure in the constructor you name your command whatever you want over here so for example this part over here the first parameter leave this corresponds to the actual command name this is very important make sure you name it the actual command that you want it to be called if i were to call this leave channel then my command name would have to be invoked with the leave channel command remember our command names do not correspond to the actual file name so now we're going to go ahead and implement the logic of our command so we need to go ahead and check to see if the music player actually exists because every single music player is uh corresponding to the guild itself okay so we're going to go ahead and get the player first so let's just get the idea of the guild so we're going to do message dot guild this is object destructuring we're basically pulling out the id from the guild and storing it in its own variable and i'm going to go ahead and get the player from client dot music dot players dot get id remember every single player is mapped by its guild id okay so referencing client dot music players is going to give us all the players because client dot music players is a collection so now if i go ahead and if i log the player to the console you're actually going to see that right over here let's give it a sec first let's try to use the leave command you're going to see it's going to say undefined because there's no player now in order for the player to actually be defined we actually have to spawn it first so we're going to join the channel now the player is going to be defined now if i use the leave command you can see that we have the player right over this is the player instance all right so now over here what we want to do is we want to get the voice channel that the member is in because right now if we use this command this will work even if we're not in the channel this will work if we're in a different channel and we don't want that so we're gonna have to check to see if first we're gonna check to see if player is a truthy value because if the player doesn't actually exist then we don't want to do anything and then we're gonna have to check to see if the person who invoked the command is actually in the same voice channel as the bot is in so let's go ahead and get the uh id of the voice channel so i'm gonna get the channel first the voice channel to do that we're gonna use object destructuring and i'm gonna reference message dot member uh, dot voice so dot voice is the voice state instance okay it's a property of the member the guild member uh, instance and the voice state instance has properties such as channel channel id whether or not the uh member is muted or deafened or a uh, whole bunch of stuff that correlates to the state of the member's voice and we're gonna go ahead and check to see now if player dot voice channel id is equal to channel dot id and if that's true then we're gonna go ahead and just destroy the player so we can do player or client.music.players.destroy okay and then we're gonna pass in the id you actually can't do player.destroy i tried that and uh it didn't work it said destroy was not an actual function on player so in order to actually destroy the player you have to reference client.music.players players actually extends the uh, collection class but there is a destroy method that we can use to basically remove the player and destroy it from the entire uh, music player and now watch this if i go over here okay so now if you go over here and if I go, okay, so now if we go over here, and if I join, have the bot join, now if I leave, 
leave and if i use that command notice how the bot's not leaving okay if i am over here let's see we don't have any uh i even know. oh okay all right so let me actually i have one more check so there's a chance that the uh person might not be in a channel so we're gonna add one more check so if player and channel okay then we're going to destroy the player okay so if player and channel so if we're are if we are in a channel then we're only going to trigger this if state because right now i'm not in a channel and since the channel object is uh not a truthy value it's actually undefined that's why it's saying cannot read property of undefined idea of undefined or null so we're going to go ahead and let's just let's have the bot join so the bot's going to join now if i disconnect okay and if i leave if i leave the channel or have the leave command being invoked now we don't have the error anymore but if i join this channel if i try to leave nothing's also going to happen okay so this part is true if player and channel they're both truthy values and since we're using the and operator player is true channel is true so it's going to go inside this if condition over here i should say truthy value okay not actual boolean values but they're a truthy value okay and over here this value is false because channel id is different than player that voice channel that id okay but if i go in here and if i use the leave command the bot is going to leave so the player is out destroyed i can have the bot join again and i can have the bot leave very very simple okay so hopefully this whole video made sense okay just to recap we're just checking to see if the player actually exists so we're just doing if player and we also want to check to see if the channel exists so we're checking to see if player and channel both exist and if they're truthy values okay and we're checking to see if the ids of the channels are the same and if they are we're going to destroy the player and that's pretty much it for this video so hopefully this made sense and i'll see you guys in my next one peace